Hey everybody, welcome back to my Hogwarts playthrough. This will be part two. And, um, looks like today we're going to be exploring Hogwarts a little bit, seeing what's all around in the castle, and I guess maybe we'll get to our first class? So, uh, let's get going. I'm a bit excited to see how this is going to go. Thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate all you guys. Love you guys. Really excited to see what's going to happen. So I'm in the Gryffindor common room, for those of you that don't know. I'm doing a Gryffindor playthrough. A bit excited about that. A bit surprised as well. And if you haven't seen why I'm a bit surprised, check out uh, the part zero and part one of this uh, series. And uh, yeah, you'll see why I'm a bit surprised to be doing Gryffindor playthrough. But I'm excited. Very happy. It's cool to see all these amazing like pictures and stuff. Um, just the scenery itself, it reminds me a lot of the movies, because when you watch the movies, you spent a lot of time in, uh, Gryffindor. And, uh, it's nice to see. I think I just knocked over some books on there in accident. Oops. We'll see broomsticks here. Just all of the details of the game. There's just so much cool stuff to see. It really feels like you're at Hogwarts. Oh. The music, too, gosh. Looks like everybody has left already, as they said in the last video. So everyone's gone, including people's owls and uh, pets, familiars. I can't really interact with anything, so. Yeah, that's. Whoa. Fifth year! I am a fifth year student! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it up first, maybe, huh? Now, Go up. which way is the common room? I'm sure the common room's probably down below, but we're not going there yet. So we're going to explore a little bit. Look at this night. Cool, hello. What the? Okay. You can move. It's a bit sus. Keeping my eye on you. Look at this. Oh, this is amazing. Seeing all these pictures. The trophies. From the Quidditch Cup. It's so cool. Let's keep going upstairs. I see you. Mm. Revelio. up here? This is pretty. I can get... Wait, I just can't... Did I just come from here? Or is this a six... Maybe this is a six-year room? Okay, this doesn't have an actual room marker, so this is something different. Well, aren't we the loveliest of them all? And I don't say things I don't mean. The mirror just talked to me. Well, hi. Oh, a chest. Level two lock. Okay, so I need some lock picking apparently. Interesting. Oh dear, I'm not sure what kind of look you call that. These are my school clothes. What? How rude. Anyway. Apparently he doesn't like my my school clothes. I'm in Gryffindor, man. That should be awesome. I see you moving there. Alright. Let's head downstairs then. Oh, another chest. What? Are you laughing? Oh. Okay, I thought you were... Don't cough on me. I thought you were laughing or something. Level 1 lock there, huh? Oh my gosh, I think you are coughing on me. Gross. Grossness. Must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Are you making fun of me? Yeah, I'm a fifth year. What's that have to do with you? You ever heard of respect your elders? 
I like how she shut up now. Yeah, that's right. You shut up. Ooh. Why is there an icon here? It's a Revelio. It's curious. Looks like I might need a fire spell to do that, huh? Okay. I suppose I'm not allowed up there. Rude. Is I won't be going up there. Ah, I wanted to go up there. Oh, rude. Okay, so it's funneling me to one place. Actually, I have I can go this way. Very cool. Look at this. Look at all of this amazing, like, just amazing, like, art they did in this game. It looks so cool, man. Got a troll there. That's so cool. Love it. Sugoi. Very Sugoi. Very cool. feel like a kid, man. I wish I could- I wish I could be a kid again. Shoot, man. Run around, casting spells. Pretending to cast spells. Bench. Nice, cool artwork. Ooh, yeah, hey, Gryffindor. Gryffindor is actually cool. I love the statue, dude. Look at that. We're cool, man. Everyone wants to be a Slytherin, but the Gryffindors are where it's at, man. This is pretty. Oh, someone's up there full- They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food. Like that man from the ministry. Can't imagine starting this late. Why is everyone making fun of me because I'm a fifth year? This is not cool, guys. Nelly will do anything for attention. I'm gonna show all you. Revelio. That's cool. House chess, huh? Oh, what did I do wrong this time? Oh, wow. Crescent, Cressida Bloom. She's working on some kind of spell, huh? What is she working on? Let's see if she can do it. Interesting. That's so cool. Still not working. Ugh. Calm down. Just a hat. Alright. Let's, uh, let's talk to you. Hey, Cressida. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I could lie to her and say not at all. I've studied with him. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. I don't think so. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Okay, I'm sure you'll get it. Perhaps you just need a bit more practice. Your casting needs... Wow, I can totally just straight up diss her, huh? Well, I'm not planning now to go evil. I'm sure you'll get it. Don't worry. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Oh, so this is the exit. This is it. I wish you luck. How hard is it to cast non-verbal spells, or can most students cast non-verbally? Let me say, uh, how hard is it to cast non-verbal spells? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Mm. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> yeah. Can most students cast non-verbally? Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. 
Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Cool. I wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I'm enjoying it so far. It's so cool. I love this game, man. Some this of us is... are tidier than others, though, aren't we? You don't have to look far to know who the disgrace is in our dormitory. You better not be talking about me. I know I'm new, but... I'm gonna kick all your butts one day. That's so cool. Look at this. I th is always Who doesn't know you think she is, anyway? I don't want she get in trouble the first day. day. I say they were raised by trolls. Everyone's talking to her. Oh, look at the cards. Look at the cards flapping. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I love magic cards. Look at this. My gosh. That is... Oh, I get my strength up, get an apple. Nelly will do anything for a thrill. <laughs> wow. If I get caught, I shan't defend you. She's so brave. Either brave or foolish, or both. Look at the cards, man. Look at this. <laughs> I wish they would do their tricks again. Oh, uh, hey, there's a uh, snitch up there. Check out this uh, tea, tea set over here. Oh, spot of tea, anybody? Delicious. I must took a snuggle off pod for a puff. I would really like someone to try it. Won't be making <gasps> that mistake again anytime soon. Chinese chomping cat. Lumos. Terrifying. I can do that Something too. Something about a leafy vegetable with teeth seems extremely unnatural. Obviously, the best greenhouse is the one with the dangerous plants. There's so much, like, side commentary in this game. It's crazy. Ooh. Some cashews there. I would really like someone to try it. Let's meet, uh, Gareth. Gareth Weasley. Interesting. Another Weasley, huh? Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. I heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Oh. Interesting. That must be nice, that must be awkward, then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that must be awkward. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. Uh. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Cool. What is that in your mug? Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Interesting. Do you have a knack for potions, too? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well... As I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Hmm. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. That was nice meeting you, Gareth. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Good luck? With what? Am I gonna have to do a test or something? Oh! What? That was a cool trick. <laughs> well, the game isn't perfect, guys, but uh, that was funny. What the heck's wrong with those people's books? Oh my gosh! They're fighting over there. Look at these two. What? 
Oh, they, fi they finally made it. The snitch again. Imagine being able to pop into Hogsmeade for a butterbeer whenever you want. I hope a professor catches it this time. Let's see what's going on over here. Nelly will do anything for a thrill. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yeah, it's true. It's true, it was terrifying. It was nothing I couldn't handle. It was terrifying. It's true, and I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Ugh, well, I guess that's a compliment, sure. Um. What are people saying about my travels here? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Yeah, I hear people kind of talking behind my back too, so. Not afraid of heights, are you? I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Have you ever encountered a dragon? I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. It was nice meeting you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common Personally, room. I think if the thing you're best at is herbology, it means you're soft-hearted. She's back up there again. And I'm being called by Professor Weasley. All right. As a Muggleborn, I never expected to come face to face with a man eating I Can't seem to get the smell of dragon dung out of my robes after that last herbology class. I suppose it's better than stink. Well, that was a cool introduction. The card stopped moving though. Huh? Oh, well, interesting. The snitch is still running around up there. I love all of the little details, like you can see Hogwarts there, you can see Gryffindor, you can see the paintings move, you can see the, the seal of Gryffindor. It's so cool. My mother is so excited for me to come home for the holiday. She's written oh. to me nearly every what? day. What? Hey! I was exhausted. Alright, anyway. A meat pie. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Uh. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. Hmm. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Ooh. Here you are. What 
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. So I got a field guide. This my way. My owls are this year. Oh, man. I'm not ready, man, am I? I guess we're gonna find out. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Hmm. Do keep up. I'm enjoying the scenery, it's so pretty. Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. No! The bull is sitting on a guy. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. What's what's going on? The guy's being squashed. All right, Revelio. Revelio. Field guide page. Black noticed the scuff on his shoe the other. This portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. Oh. That's, uh... Ouch. <laughs> I just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field gun challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Ah, okay. So you have to. This is how you gain experience. Okay. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. I wish there was something I could do to stand up to the headmaster. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Collecting your first field guide page, unlock a new challenge category. New challenges will you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Very cool. Hey, kitty. Hi, kitty. Aww. Ah. That's so cool. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Oh no, my classes? Oh crap. I'm not ready. Man, this is it's so amazing how this whole place looks. Another ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames ah. to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. So that's what these are. You discovered a flu flames fast travel point. Ah, okay. You can open the map anytime to fast travel and you discovered flu flames. Okay. So open the map. Okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. Select the South Wing region to continue. Okay, we will. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. 
Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Okay. Very cool. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Sure thing. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames with X. I see it here. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Flu flames. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Oh, wow. A whole new area I haven't even explored yet. I, I kind you of can get to almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. So this is Central Hall. I kind of wish they would have showed me doing the flu flame itself to see the, you know, casting the flu flame, but this is cool. Wow. Ah, there we go. The flu flame. There it How is. nice to see you, my young friend. Hi, how are you? So cool. The flu flame is talking to me. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. It's all very nice. Very cool. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. We have two classes to attend today. And we have to get to Hogsmeade. That's cool. All right. Can you tell me more about the about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. Hmm. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Man, this game is so much. It's so cool. What is Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Ooh, a butterbeer, huh? That sounds interesting. Well, thank you so much, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Should I be honest with her or not? We'll be honest with her. There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Hey. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. 
I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. There's so much to do in the first day, I love it. Oh my gosh, there's so much cool stuff. Alright, Professor Fig, what you got for me? Well, actually, let me look around this place. Look at this, amazing. Look at the water, it's spinning. It's crazy looking. This is that that's moving. That is so cool. It's a dragon, like a dragon portrait, like stone dragon portraits, and it's moving. I hadn't met any of my cousins until I came to Hogwarts. Can I explore around a bit? I can't believe it. Were you? Did I? Did I offend you? Find a dead person. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at... The <gasps> art. The art in this game is amazing. Gosh. What if she's not actually that good? My brothers and I think they're pumpkin juice with almonds, guys. Alright, Professor Fig, what you got? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? I'm not gonna lie to him. I... I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. You can check available quests from the map. So we're going to open the map, okay. The field guide map shows Professor Hecat's class is in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Okay. So this icon it represents main quest. Complete a main quest will further the story, unlock the features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. Okay, and they have a lock icon. In these cases, you will need to be required the level, you will need to be the required level, or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments, which is a scroll icon, or as a or as quest rewards. Okay. Track a main quest with A to continue. So we'll track the Charms class or the Defense Against the Dark Arts. Let's do the Charms class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. 
More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. We're going to get to meet Mr. Ollivander? That is... Cool. Charmed compass unlocked. So we're going to cast Charmed Compass. Uh, the, char the Charmed Compass will lead you to anything you are tracking. That is amazing. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm literally blown away by this game right now. Alright, let's go explore a little bit. If it let me explore. This castle's huge. What the heck is this? Interact. Oh. What? Is this a chest? Can I unlock? I can search this. Dragon eyed spectacles. Golden ones, huh? With. Oh, look at all the cobwebs here. Ew. Lumos. That's, this is a creepy area. Very cool. Revelio. I saw you guys over here. Okay. You stay there. Alright. Huh. Very quiet down here. Intense sobbing by the Grey Lady, it said, huh? Who the heck is that? Oh, look at the ghost dancing. Hill just wants you to buy something, though. He's always talking his game. And then look at his face if you don't buy something. There's a cat in a glass. Oh, Revelio. Ah, we just found something. Wooden cat. This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangor, Don. Fearless, feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. Very cool. Although, Madam Green can be a little fiery sometimes, so you definitely want to stay on her good side. Look at, oh my gosh, this is so much amazing stuff here. Revelio. Were those statues moving? I heard something. Hmm. Hi, ghost. <laughs> I hear some lady sobbing. Right here, what, what is she doing? <laughs> what? Revelio. Another field page. The Three Sisters Bells. The Three Sisters Bells are said to be a tribute to three similarly, similarly named beautiful step ridges that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It is rumored that one can hear them r ring in the glen way across the highlands when they are rung in the castle. Locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Hmm. Hey, level two. Cool. I guess I can unlock Handy this. resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Nice. Revelio. Oh, that's a chest there. Oh, a slate jumper attire. Oh, clothing. Nice. There's a, a lock here. Huh? Level one lock. Okay. There's a chest behind there, too, it says. That's locked, too. Okay. Ah! The Broken Broom. This broken broom belonged to Celine Wartnaby and is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. Hmm. 
Revelio. Another one. Flattened armor. The set of armor belonged to Sir Skagglethorpe, the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Ha! <laughs> and got his head smashed in, huh? Oof. Yeah, that's uh, not a pleasant sight there. All right. Another, I could, there's a bunch of this. Horns like this were used by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hog's Head Inn with a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, pre presumably to mute it. To mute the horn with the, the Gorgonzola cheese. Jeez. If only Black had the power to choose the other professors too. Revelio. The headmaster hates everyone who isn't a pure blood slytherin. Oh my gosh, there's just so much to see. It's like I'm, I'm getting lost in the game right now. You can easily get lost in this game. There's just so much to see. I'm taking an unknown path right now. I have no idea where I'm going. Urn of Ashes. This particular urn is rumored to have once borne the inscription, Pioneer in Dragon Taming. Could not have started with the Hungarian Horn Tail. Hmm. There's so much to see in this game. Let's see here. Ah, uh, hello. Revelio. Really cool horse. Wonder if the horse will move. Pretty cool. Lumos. Ah. Whoa, cool dragon. Revelio. Sleeping dragon statue. The Hogwarts motto, Draco Dormiens Nun Quam, Titel Andis, means never tickle a sleeping dragon. Fortunately, this particular sleeping dragon is made of stone and will never awaken. It may be tickled to absolutely no effect. Can I tickle it? I want to tickle it. I guess tickle it all I want. All right. Revelio. What? It's like a lock here, huh? Level one lock. So we're seeing some doors are locked now. Very cool. Not the ghost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't do this for all eternity. May we talk about this? <laughs> what do you want? Guy's being chased with a freaking axe. That sucks. <laughs> Another lock. Look at that. It's like a frog Rebellion. behind there. So cool. Lots of locks and things that are that you're gonna be have to unlock later on. So many things to see and explore. Oh, just saw a house elf there. It's looked like Dobby, but I don't know who it was. Revelio. Get up with his chest. Banded color scarf, nice. Another outfit, love it. Well, let's check out this creepy place. There's a, looks like a mermaid on the wall. Very cool. Wow, this is pretty. What is this place? I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but this is crazy. Oh, that's creepy. Hello. <gasps> so it locks because it sees me, huh? That's why it locked itself. I have to. I need to be invisible for it to be unlocked. Interesting. It's a, yeah, it's a locked, it's a chest that locks when it sees you. Wow. 
so I need to have something to make me invisible to see to get that chest. Cool. All right. Side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as a black flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward XP, but do not advance the main story. Okay. There's one here, Library Annex. Okay. Lots of side quests too. Okay, there's lots to do in this game. Let's go up, back where we came from. Gosh, I love the uh, compass. It's so cool. Compass is a great way to not get lost in this game. Well, I'm gonna go this this way for a bit. Very cool. Can I go in here? Oh wow! Hi. This looks like a familiar place, like in from the movies. Very cool. Hmm. Another locked area. Huh. Maybe we should go upstairs. Well, this is a mirror of some kind. Hmm. Curious. Ah. Oh. Oops! Did peeves make you jump? <laughs> oh, boy. Revelio. That was a bit odd. <laughs> it's like a chest back there. Oh, I thought that was that's cool. It's a cool picture. Revelio. Wow. Oh, another, like, classroom, huh? I'm seeing all the different classrooms now. Oh, another chest that needs to be hidden. Ah. Uh. I hear some amazing piano music down here, or something. Oh, I managed to kind of work my way around, okay. Wow. So the castle has a lot of winding mazes, too. Oh, there's a ch chest. Some gold. Almost missed that. This must be playing, I'm guessing, huh? Oh, there's a bunch of frogs on here. What the heck? Revelio. Wow. Oh, here's what's playing. Cool. This must be like the music area then, huh? It's probably locked, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. Um, cool. Found the music area. Let's check out where we have to go. We'll just go to, I guess we'll go to class. This is, uh, there's so much to explore. You can get totally lost in this game. 
Another lock. Revelio. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, just like the movie. This is cool. What is that? Another... Oh, there's something there. Revelio. Field page. The Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir... Catogan. This is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Cool. Almost, I'm almost rank three. Cool. Well, that was a glitch, I think. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Revelio. I'm in a whole nother area now. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an engrating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Smarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's uncutuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh. I got some challenges complete. What did I get? Field page? Okay, I got... Looks like I can claim some rewards here. Cool. I can claim... Okay. A gear appearance reward. Hogwarts regalia gloves. Very cool. So if you complete the quest, you get more gloves. Okay, this is very cool. So you can actually change your your character and everything later on too. That's cool. So this is the potions classroom area. What are you up to now? I'm looking around and exploring. That's an amazing I wish game. I received letters from home more often. I like knowing what my sisters are up to. The youngest is like no better feeling than plunging your hands into greenhouse soil. Unless you accidentally now I have no idea where I'm going again. This is crazy. There's another chest here. Hey, another uniform. Revelio. Cool. Okay, this is the end of this area. I just took a snuggle up pod for a puffer pod the other day and helped that mistake is gone in time soon. Once we go that way, huh? Okay. Reveal. What? A puzzle? Interesting. Well, this is a puzzle. It's got some... Okay, I see. It's got some figures here. So it's got a... Roll. Oh! So it gave me an owl. Hmm, very interesting. Intriguing. There must be different locks throughout this whole area. You have to roll. And you have to make a match a certain number or something. Interesting. Okay. That's a that's an involved puzzle, you can tell. Okay. Oh. Revelio. I'm back here now. Love to know what it's like. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain space. I haven't been down to the boat. There's something in there. I just know it. 
This is a side quest, I think, huh? Let's talk to her, Lenora. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. We did see another empty frame as we were walking around, so that's curious. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. Hmm. But I'm not sure what to do next. So Lumos has to start, okay, interesting. Are there underpaintings like this here? Well, we've already seen one, so we know there are. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Starting to like the puzzles. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Starting to like the puzzles in this game, they're pretty involved. Lumos. Whoa. This must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. We were just there. I was just there a second ago. Can I use this? Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Wow. We were just at that place. Let's see if we can find it again. This is it this right here, looks right? looks like the location from the painting. There's a butterfly What could there. be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. The moth stopped. Perhaps uh, I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Interesting. The Chudley cannons are going to be unbeatable. Very cool. Ha! <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Ah. Interesting. Where's she at? She went. She went up here, okay. We solved it, yeah. Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm a genius. Uh, I'm not. T I can say I'm not telling. Wow. I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Well, you did help the me, so moth. thanks. I should have seen that. You did help me, so thank you. Well, let's head to. Oh, not curly track anything. Let's head to our class. Let's head to our charms class. Our first class. Clear right. Did a little bit of exploring, so that's good. That's so pretty. Well, you gonna play a full song for me? Jeez. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. There's so much that you can explore in this game. 
Well, we'll just head to our class. Man. I'm so intrigued to see everything. I'm in another place now. Revelio. Wow, look at this view. <laughs> oh, they're flying. Oh. Look at this view of this. Oh. <laughs> Man. I want to be a wizard. It's so cool. We're in the defense against the dark arts right now, though. Okay, we're still going the right way. There's another puzzle here. Lumos. Okay, I, f I haven't think I found that one yet. I don't think so. We'll just go to class. That's another cool puzzle to solve. Oh no. Oh, did I just find the butterfly on accident? I might have. Lumos. I think I found the butterfly on accident. This is Professor Fig's classroom, huh? Interesting. I must have solved the puzzle. We got it. Let's see if my, uh... Goldfish memory prevails here or not. Which way you need to go? Oh, there's a cat there. Rumor has it there's an abandoned. There it is. Oops, that works. Wrong spell, but sure. There you go. Cool. All right, back to class. Where's the, why is there a kitty here in the corner? Hi, kitty. Aw. Wow. Revelio. You know all of it. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. When I fell off, some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Another really cool area to explore. My gosh. I've been getting attacked by Ranrock's loyalists. Do not find me there anytime soon. I should like to retire to a small house. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a boot or the Minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> oh boy. If you look, there's another rolling thing here, too. That's not being a, a crazy puzzle that, from that door. Bunch of kitties here. 
it's Isn't got a Sebastian Salo's family from Felgo. It's got a class. This is my first quest, huh? Alright, this is cool. Look at this. This is gonna be where I'm gonna learn charms. What's in here? A lock. Hmm. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Oh. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. All right. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Ooh. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Very cool. Oh, a new spell, okay. Akio. Alright, study your wand with Ellen Guy. Okay, we're gonna learn Akio then. Nice. Akio. <laughs> that is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. That sounds good. Huh. Lots to see and do in this game. Jeez. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Huh? 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 Wow. Okay. Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Oh. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. So, uh, I'm gonna have to pull this and try not to get this to fail 
I need to get to the 50 if I can do it. Action. Very good. Uh, Not to worry. Try that one. That's it. Don't lose your composure. Excellent control there. There we go. That's what I wanted. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. <laughs> You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, okay. you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. What are the rules? Okay. Let us see this. So I guess she's first. Okay. Oh no. Yes. That's some hacks if I ever saw. Akio. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Splendid. Here we go. This is how it's done. Can I knock your ball off? Because I still would do it. <laughs> so far, so good. Well done. Watch this. You better not knock my ball off. Okay. So I'm gonna choke on this. Yes. Don't choke! Don't choke! Okay. A perfect score. Remarkable. <laughs> Ooh. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh no. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Oh, no. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Oh, this is difficult. I thought I had that. This is very difficult. Take the 30. Very good. Here we go. No. Hacks. No. Yes. Oh, Natty, you're a cheater. Not exactly your typical lesson, you it. Not that I mind. Nicely done! Watch this. Okay. There we go. It's tied. As long as I don't choke, I'll win. Okay, I think we got it. We'll take That's that score. It. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That was tough. 
I'm glad you understand, or I'm holding my own. I'm glad you understand. Thank you, Patty. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. That's so cool. How big is Yugadu? Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu, sorry. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. We need to have a, another spin-off for these movies to see these other wizarding places like Wagadu. It'd be cool to see. What does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Mm. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Ah, very cool. Is the magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. Surely the magic is weaker. I don't know about that. That's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. It makes sense. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. That makes sense. Thank you for telling me about Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Hmm. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. The story of course, is... You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. The story is so well, good in this. You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> oh, man. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A bit mad? I wouldn't call him mad. I think it's cool. Man, the story is awesome. A word, if you would. Yeah, what's up, man? You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well... An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Special assignment? Wow. What do we have now? I've unlocked. What was my that was one of my challenges, right? So we get the legendary gloves. Cool. And okay, not we're not gonna get that yet. Legendary cape, that's cool. I don't know where to change my outfit yet, but we'll figure that out as we go. Maybe it's under gear. We can do it now. Whoa, let's change up some stuff. Let's see here. You can destroy it too, huh? I I like the gloves. We'll go with the gloves. Um, what about face wear? What do we got? We have the dragon eye spectacle. That is so cool, but I can't see my eyes. The glasses are 
kind of nice too. <laughs> Those dragon eye spectacles are awesome. It gives you defense plus three. Well, I'll leave them off for now, but those are would actually be better if we're actually out there doing something. You can get wand handles. How about a hat? Hmm. We could rock the hat. Sure, why not? Neckwear. I have a new scarf, right? I have two. I have two scarves. That scarf's nice. What's this one? Hey, offense plus four on the scarf. Then we had to put it on. Very cool. You can get flying mounts. I wonder how many you can get. I mean, I would think a broom, but is there more? The oh, there's flying mounts and broom. Cloaks and robes we have right now. We have just the traditional robe on right now. So I can take that off if I want to. I like the traditional robe, it looks nice. And I have an outfit, it says. I have Slate jumper attire. And this one this one here has defense down, but you get a trait upgrade. A trait slot level. Oh, or you could just go pajamas. <laughs> we'll put this on for now and then we'll hope we can get a trait level ev eventually. Hopefully we can figure that out later. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was cool to learn my first actual real spell. Well, not my first spell, but it was it was fun to learn the charms today, the Accio spell, and I enjoyed exploring a little bit. Um, looking forward to seeing more of this game. Uh, and I'm thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy that you're here all watching and. Um, look forward to the next video when we'll be checking out probably the Dark Arts class and whatever mysterious assignment they're going to assign to me. So, love you guys. Thanks so much. You're all awesome. Stay frosty and thanks for watching. Bye.